Calvin Castine at Shazy Central Rural School, and yes, it's that time of the year again. Time to start planning about making your visit to the Shazy Music Theater's annual production, and this year it's The Music Man. And we have with us Mr. Harold Hill, who's playing the part of Jason Borey, or is that, I got that wrong? You might have a reverser, Calvin, but uh, maybe I'm a, a con man at heart. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was trying to think back now. Uh, I know that Northeastern did it. I'm trying to think that maybe it was 10 years ago. You're good, absolutely. It was actually 10 years ago this March that I'll have done this show. So it's uh, kind of exciting. Of course, I didn't play Harold Hill when we did it. it was Sean Blow? It was Sean Blow that played Harold Hill, yes. And it was uh, Lila Menard that played Mary and the Librarian. And I played the sidekick, the partner in crime, Marcellus Washburn. So, so now you've moved up to... I've moved up to the big wig. <laughs> the big con man, if you will. Oh. Now let me tell you, um, Sean set that bar high. He did a heck, a heck of a job. He was great, absolutely. So that's why you waited 10 years before you tried it? Absolutely. Out of everybody's mind? Absolutely. Out? So they can forget about his performance <laughs> and so I could be, so they can say, oh boy, nobody tops Jason <laughs> Boris. So I'm hoping that that's the case. <laughs> okay, now... Um, Normally you're also behind the scenes. Are you behind the scenes this year too? Uh, yeah, actually I, I took on uh, the role of assistant director again, which if anybody knows the show, Harold Hill is, is a large character. Yeah. And I, I took on helping out. Uh, we have a new director this year, kind of an artist in residence, if you will. Uh, Dan Gallagher is directing the show this year. And one of his remarks was that I will only take this project on if Jason could be my assistant director so I said yes and then of course I auditioned and I was lucky enough to get the role after that so <laughs> who voted the assistant director I uh, know I walked away I had no no say in the casting of, of that particular character so I, I was very fortunate that they thought I was I was qualified for the job <laughs> if you will now is this like one of those uh, shows we see on TV where there's a panel of three judges and they insult you if you didn't do a good job is it's not quite American Idol. Uh, we, uh, you know, that would actually be a very good show in itself is to do. We could uh, come here and do the, uh, the auditions. Here. Oh. <laughs> Um, no, we do. We do have a panel of, I think we had four or five on this year. And we have like our music director and the artistic director and we get some board members involved and people from the community. And we all sit down and try to look at all these auditions and try to say, okay, who could possibly play what role and, and who, who can sing and who can't and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. So it is challenging. We're not quite as mean as Simon on American <laughs> Idol. So. Now, if, if you hadn't made it for Harold Hill, would you have still taken part in this? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I, I love it, and this is, is a great group to work with, too. What was the first one you did at Northeastern? Oh my gosh, you're really testing me now. Um, I think yeah, Oklahoma was the first one I did, and that was in 93. So I've been on the... the so, so Music Man was only your second one? It was only the second one I so ever... South Pacific was the year after? No, but they had Bye Bye Birdie after that one, and then South Pacific, and then... So what grade were you when you were just a... I was a freshman when I, when I did The Music Man at oh, Northeastern. So you started at the eighth grade then? Yeah, I did. It was, it was very fortunate. When I don't, I'm not sure they were usually letting middle school um, students be a part of the musical, but they might not, have not been... that... No, and I think they might have needed guys that year, and mm -hmm. we were allowed to, to do it, and it changed some of our lives, if, if you want. Yeah, it, it, uh, you get this bug, and you decide this is Absolutely. something I want to do. Oh, it's great. I, I can remember, I'll always remember it... Uh, uh, Scott Merchant was in one of these, and I think it was before he played the the um, Eliza oh, little thing yes. there. Yeah, and my fair lady. Was, yeah, my fair lady. I think it was before that. And Bob and I were there the next year, and we interviewed him. And Bob said, "Well, you plan what you're going to do? He said, I'm going to be singing." And that he decided that that's what he wanted to do. And his voice has come along, and he's he is you know trained his voice Absolutely. and he's really doing a, a Absolutely. fantastic job. He had a great voice back when he was still in high school so with proper training mm -hmm. I heard he's doing quite wonderful things right now. So. Yeah so you know he, he sang at the St. Peter's Church and his mother was kind enough to take my camera and go down and videotape it for us oh, at midnight wow. mass and you know it just fills a, a place like that up with his with his voice. Well, he's very talented Scott. Yeah. He yeah. always has been. Oh, so outside of um, Starring in musicals right now, what else are you doing? Oh, well, I keep busy at Northeastern. 
and I worked there. And uh, I don't know, you know, it's one thing not to say to do this, but I this takes a lot of time, uh, pouring over hours with with the production staff and and working on the sets and got kind of hands in everything, doing publicity for the show. Um, you know, I, theater kind of keeps me off the streets, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's my, if you will, drug 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 of choice is what they they choose. Uh, That's how you get high, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, it, and I, I kind of almost, there's not much downtime. I did one during the summer this past year down in, with Essex, did Chicago. It was a great experience. And then there was a little bit of time uh, off from that, getting things together with the, the college. I was trying to make sure things were finalized in my degree and then was working. And then this came about. We started this planning back in September or October. And we've been pushing through since. So. Okay. Now, what do you do at Northeastern? What? Well, I was working as a part-time teacher last year, but since budget cuts, uh, I I'm back as a full-time substitute. So. Full-time substitute. Yeah. So you're there all the time. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Now, for those three people out there who are watching this and aren't familiar with the Music Man, uh, I can't imagine anybody who hasn't heard some of the songs. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 76, 76 trombones. trombones is, yeah, most famous one. Uh, the Beatles did a, a cover version of Till There Was You, which is another famous song on the bridge. It's kind of like the love song between Harold and Marion. Gary and Deanna. Uh, the court, Barbershop Quartet sings some great numbers. Lie to Rose, uh, Sincere, some, some real nice stuff. Lots of, lots of famous songs in this show. So uh, this is a show that most people walk away humming. You know. And what's that one? That the, and I have no idea what the name of it is, but it's rhyme trouble, I guess. Oh it? yeah, you got trouble. That's the right one where, City. yeah, the one where he tries to convince the town that they're they have a lot of problems with this new pool table coming in, and he sells it to them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, it starts with a P and it rhymes with a T, and that stands that's, for trouble. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so you must be having a lot. That's probably. If I were a singer, that'd probably be my favorite song to sing in, it in, this, is. in this musical. It is. It's the most challenging, but it's my favorite song to sing with uh, with the show. It's. Uh, I'm having trouble because I'm moving around on the stage so much just to keep it going that I'm having trouble uh, keeping my breath support there. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better as we get closer to show. So hopefully by Thursday night when people show up that it'll be all right. Now we're taping this on the 11th and in two weeks from tonight yes. uh, it's showtime. Absolutely. The 25th we open. So. Yeah, and then you close on Sunday. And we close on <laughs> Sunday. All these months of work for, for four blessed events. So. But it's it's well worth it. We have a lot a lot of fun. It really it really is. It's great. It's a, it's a, it's a family. It really is. Yeah, a lot of this people you work with every year, but once in a while you get some new person and you. And that's always fun too, right? Absolutely. We do have several new people uh, coming into the group this year. We have. Um, now I say several. Uh, Paul Cole coming in, he's playing the constable. Uh, Ray Remillard coming in, is playing Mayor Shin. And of course, when these people come, they bring their friends and they bring their family, not only to see the show, but to be part of it. So it's, a, it's great. A lot of people like to do this as a family. Uh, and I say we're a big family, but they like to bring their, their children to do this. So they do it with their children. It's, it's great. It's a really great experience all the way around, either if they're on stage or working production or, or whatever. So if you're not on stage, you know, you can come and enjoy it just the same and watch, you know, the moms and the dads and the sisters and the brothers and the daughters and the sons all work together. It's great. Now I see the salesman listed here and I see the name of Bob Musso. Now, as I recall, he was one of that quartet. Is he a part of the quartet again this time? Well, just like me, 10 years ago, Bob Musso was in the Northeastern Clinton production of The Music Man, and he was part of the Barbershop Quartet, and he is reprising his role <laughs> in the same, same, same way, and he's wonderful. He's doing a great job. Well, there's one role I want Bob Musso to, to reprise, and that's his role in uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, he's wonderful as Tevia. Absolutely wonderful. I just, I saw that down on Broadway, and it was wonderful, but Bob gave his own special rendition of it. It was great. I uh, watched the movie after I'd seen uh, Northeastern's production with Bob Musso, and I wasn't interested in the movie. I thought Bob had done a better job. It was great. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, Absolutely. He, he was Tevye after that. I, nobody else could uh, could do it, and you had to uh, Kim Morlock as the, the little as the daughter there, and she, you know, there are just so many talented people that we've been able to discover because of these musicals Absolutely. over the years. Absolutely. I think it's well put, Calvin. Well yeah. put. Yeah. So I, I think 
it's unfortunate that, uh, that uh, Northeastern's budget hasn't been able to afford this, and we should point out that this isn't part of CCRS's budget. No. This is a special group. Absolutely. This is a non-for-profit community theater organization that we do is solely, we put this on hopefully to break even, not to, not to make money, not to lose money. We just want to break even. Oh, I guess they need me. <laughs> I guess, the look from the director says I have to go on stage now. So All right. this has been fun, even Calvin. If, even if you're the assistant director, you still got to follow the orders, right? Exactly. All right. Old bowing. <laughs> okay, Jason. Thanks, Calvin. All right. We'll see you in two weeks. All right. Awesome. All right. Great. Hey, we're on the air, Winthrop, Peru. All right. A guy named Brendan Tobin. Has your mother ever been in these things? Yeah, she's been almost every uh, every year. Is actually. she? Let's see. Is she in this one? Yeah. What's she, she playing? Alma Hicks. Alma Hicks. There she is, Janice Tobin. Now your father's not in this one, though, huh? No. Mike. No, he was. Uh, he was in one a couple years ago in the summer. Yeah. Did you, did you come see that one? I can't remember what it was. Uh, Oliver. Was, was it, it Oliver? Oliver? No, it's one that was here. I don't think it was Oliver. No. Was, um, I forget what part he played, but that was a couple of years ago. You were probably only 12 at the time. Yeah. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 12 right now. You're 12 right now. <laughs> oh, okay, you couldn't have been 12 at the time back then, then, huh? No. <laughs> All right, Winthrop, Peru. What? Who is Winthrop, Peru? Well, he has a lisp. With a lisp? Okay. And. He's a kind of shy boy who doesn't really hang out around people until Harold comes to town and he talks about the band and I get excited and I want to play the cornet and he talks about my uniform and that's really that gets me going <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so you have a lot of lines in this um <laughs> good a lot of studying have you it's been studying a lot. Have you got them all learned yet? We're only two weeks away, you know. I've been studying like the dances and my songs and um, let's see. <laughs> so what have you done so far that we may have not seen you in? Um, I do some summer safari um, plays and I been in every single Shazy play except for two all the way back until The Wizard of Oz. All the way back to The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. How many years ago was that? Five, maybe. Five years ago, and you missed yeah. only two, huh? <laughs> what parts have you played in the... What have you been? Were you, were you in Wizard of Oz? Yeah, I was a lollipop A kid. lollipop man. <laughs> yeah. So you did that little dance there. We welcome you to... Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you still remember those lines? Did you uh -huh. have to sing in a funny voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You think you could remember that funny voice for us right now? Um. <laughs> we welcome you. The lollipop guild. The lollipop guild. The lollipop guild. Alright, it's enough. We have to pay royalties if we sing any more than that. That's pretty good. You haven't, have you still do this at home probably once in a while? Um. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Do you, um. Do you watch that movie and sing along with them? I saw it about a couple of months ago, actually, and I remembered it. <laughs> so. Did you look for yourself? Say, where am I? Did yeah, you, actually. No, no, this is not me. Yeah. Now, have you ever seen the Music Man uh, yeah. movie? Yeah. Have you? Does, uh, do you watch it and study it and say, I'm going to try to be like that, or do you come in here and say, I'm going to be me? Well, I notice that I'm different compared to everyone else. I have a different voice. Like, usually the Winthrops, they're better actors because they are more out of pitch. <laughs> it's hard to be out of pitch, though, I think. <laughs> oh, so you're just too good to be out of pitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I know what that's like, you know. <laughs> Being a great singer myself, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> now, is it tough uh, with your mother here and you got a big role? You, you must, you're up higher up in the list than her. Do you have a bigger role than her? Yeah. Is she jealous? Nah. No, you don't think so? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have a, what do you sing? Gary, Indiana, and I have a solo in the Wealth Fargo Wagon. And what's it, is there a title for it? Um, 
For the Wells Fargo wagon? Yeah, is that the name of the song? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the name of the song is the Wells Fargo wagon. Uh, you have a solo, is it, the, you sing the entire song solo or you got a solo no, part in it? I have a solo part in it. It's with the whole town's people. Okay. Yeah. So, is this the biggest role you've had so far in your career? Um, I was Tom, I was going to be Tom Sawyer, but I turned it down actually. You're going to be who? Tom? Tom Sawyer. Oh, okay. But I turned that down. And I didn't have time really, so I couldn't study all the lines. <laughs> well, it's tough. You've got school to worry about too. And you... Yeah. Now, if you've got a test coming up and you've got to be here for rehearsal, what's, what's more important? Well, usually I go in the cafeteria and I study and do Which, homework. What do you study though? Your lines or your homework? My homework. <laughs> okay, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, uh, Brendan, and uh, good luck. Okay. All right, thank you. Pulling, and we've got four young ladies here. I'm correct, right? Oh, you're all young ladies? Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. all probably still in school except for her. Huh? We're all probably still in school except for her. Old one there, yeah. She's, she's kind of <laughs> old, you know. Yeah. All right, let's uh, find out who everybody is and what your role is, then we'll probably ask you something else there. Good dog, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Catherine, and I'm a Watanee girl in the Play the Music Man. Catherine. Catherine Took. Yes. Took. Yeah. All right. And? I'm Megan Bull, and I'm a Watanee girl. Watanee girl, too, huh? I'm going to have to find out what a Watanee girl is after. And? I'm Fiona Clancy, and I'm part of the chorus. Part of the chorus. There we go. Fiona Clancy. Now. Did your mother tell you what not to do when you're on stage? Not to fool around. And? and sing loudly and not to have your skirt fall. Yeah. <laughs> you know anybody who had that happen to them last My year? Mom. <laughs> My mom. Reverend Clancy. And all of a sudden, of course, she had 17 layers of <laughs> slips and stuff on, but all of a sudden, she's struggling up there with 500 people or 700 people in the crowd and cast party they had a song about skirts did fall we stepped on them all so <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle Rushford and I'm part of the chorus part of the chorus <clears throat> now you've been singing I know for a long time you used to sing in the chorus and your mother used to lead the band and uh, have you ever been in musicals before Michelle I've never been in one here this is my first year in musical here but I did a, a bunch of them at Northeastern and I did one at Clinton Community College okay. I hold this mic here so I don't mess up the sound um, what did you do at Northeastern um, the first one I was in I was probably nine years old I did Annie get your gun and then I don't remember half the other ones I did. I did Rogers and Hart, a celebration. I think it was my junior year, and I think that's all I did. Okay, but you've enjoyed this, right? Of course. So long has it been since you've been in one? Three, four years. I missed it. Okay, and that what, how'd you uh, decide to get involved? What'd you do? Well, I was talking to one of my friends on the internet, and he was in it, and you probably talk to him later. Uh, he's like, well, we need more people, and I'm like, okay, I'll come and see what it's about. So I came and I saw a bunch of people that I knew and through from high school and stuff. So I decided to join the cast. Just like that? You didn't have to audition? You said, here I am. Well, the director knows who I am because he was my art teacher at school, so. Yeah, Mr. Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher. He's my brother's art teacher. So. Okay. Now, you're a Northeastern student now, huh? No. No? Right now, I'm in Rouse's Point Elementary. Well, that's part of Northeastern, you know. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm not in the middle school or high school yet. You're, no. you're what, fifth grade? Mm -hmm. I used to be in fifth grade, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way back when. <laughs> Way back when. Yeah. Yeah, we're done with her. <laughs> you wait till the interview is done, then you say those nasty things, you, you know? Say it off here, then you get caught. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I know your, I see your brother is here again, and your, I see your mother's name here. Is your father in it this year? Yes, he is part of the quartet. He is J.C. Squires. J.C. Squires, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, that's uh, four of you. Is that? Uh, is there anybody else? Is there, do you have another sister, or is it just four of you in the family? Or? Well, there is a brother, but he likes drama, but he doesn't like to sing. So. Uh -huh. So there's three kids. Yeah. So you got another brother that's not gonna. He doesn't like to sing. Doesn't like to sing, but he couldn't he have find a part in here where he doesn't sing? Uh, probably not. 
he could he could help with set, but he prefers staying at home. So. <laughs> okay. And let's see. What? Can you tell me what a Watani girl is? It's these Indians, and they go to go to school, and um, she has. I want to tell them. Okay. <laughs> you can't. You're done talking because you insulted me. <laughs> but don't tell me what she does anyway. Um, what? What do you do? Um, I go out and we go skipping, and we then we just copy what our teacher says, and we co and then, well. You can tell what you do next. <laughs> what do you do? I give up. Okay, I have a rifle because I'm a person, girl, and I'm not an Indian. I'm a colonial person, I think. And You're not a Watani? I'm, a, I'm in Watani, but I'm a colonial person. I, I don't know what it's called. She t he told me I was something else away, but I'm still a Watani girl. It's confusing. It's and Group. Yeah, and goes to a local hut, so. and I have a rifle, and it's really, really heavy. I think it weighs about like well, it feels like it weighs about 20 pounds, wow, that and is heavy. I can't lift it. So I like I wave it at Mrs. Shin, and she pushes it away. I wave it at Mrs. Shin, she pushes it away, and finally she just gets it and clunks it down. <laughs> is this the highlight of the musical? Yes. Is it? One of the many. <laughs> One of the many. <laughs> Once that happens, people can leave? No. No? <laughs> no, there's still missing a lot of good dances. Oh, yeah. a lot of good dances. You have want any girls dance? Um, oh, sort of. Um, uh, yes sort or no? Of. Practically, uh, we only skip. We go, you skip. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you do. Oh. Yeah, you skip around. Stereotype. Huh? <laughs> Stereotype those Native Americans, huh? Mm. Now, is Watani, is that supposed to be a tribe or? Yeah, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have, have you seen your costumes yet? Uh-huh, I was just wearing it over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was in your pants. I haven't got mine yet. I didn't know you haven't seen yours yet? Yeah. So is it kind of a, that color there, it's kind of a tannish color, yeah. the buckskin-like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What grade are you in? I'm in fourth. You're in fourth? What grade are you going to be in next year? Fifth. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. And? I'm in third. Third? You're bigger than her? No, okay. she is not. <laughs> Stand up. Let's see. Let's see here. Wait. Let me let me measure. Okay. There you go. Okay. Move away. Oh, you. <laughs> see? That's where you came up to her on her. <laughs> So there. <laughs> Which school do you go to? I go here, Shazy. Go here, Shazy, yeah. I go to Beekman Town. Beekman Town, North Ralph's Point, excuse me. <laughs> Northeastern graduate. They get them in from all over the place here, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. Anything else anybody needs to tell me before we find somebody else to visit Just with? Just to come to the show? Yeah, come, yeah, come to the show. show. Well, when you'll is really it? Enjoy it? March 25th and, and March 28th. And March 26th, 27th, and 28th. All right, mm -hmm. and it's what time? 7.30, and then the last on the 28th Eight. is 2.30. 2.30? Uh, yeah. 2.30 on yeah. Sunday, 7.30 the rest of the time. Yes. And yeah. tickets are available from all the cast members. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless they've already run out of them. Unless what? They're going Unless fast. Unless they've already run out of them. So. Oh, they run out of them, then you're out of luck. People have been asking for requests, and some people don't have the tickets yet. So A lot of people go for the Sunday tickets. Yeah, because it's the last show, and they want to be the last one. Oh, I got the last one. It was the best. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I see. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't work out that sometimes way. Sometimes the first one is the best. You never know, right? <laughs> yeah. You never know when somebody might drop their skirt on the stage, right? <laughs> I think that was in the first show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. All right, we have another person. As, are you cold, or what's the problem? Here? No, this is what the mayor's wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin, and she does go by all three names, wears in the dance number called Shapoopy. <laughs> I look like I have a muffin on my head, don't I? Um, she is a wonderful character. Um, she is a little outrageous. Um, she's a know-it-all busybody, and everybody loves her because she's the mayor's wife and she can do no wrong. Oh. So, you know. You know she's a busybody. Oh, absolutely. That's why the ladies love her so much. Oh, did they get the gossip? Oh, absolutely. There is a song that they sing called Pick a Little, um, which sort of like is they're like mm -hmm. little cackling hens mm -hmm. and uh, I was told I was the head pick a little lady so whatever I do they do I am sort of like their their uh, leader 
shall we say. <laughs> and I love it. And this is so much different. Two years ago, I was the mother abbess in The Sound of Music. Last year, I didn't say one word <laughs> because I was the ayah. I was dead and I was the ayah, so she didn't say anything because she was an Indian servant. And this year, I finally got to just let loose. And um, when Dan said, can you take her over the top? I've hopefully taken her over the top and I'm enjoying it so much. I've had so much fun playing you lately. Absolutely. I think she's a little closer to my heart than either of the other two. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, just because she's loved by everyone, that's why. Oh, no, 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 because she's bossy and a busybody. <laughs> no, because she's a little over the top. And, oh, I see. And I think people have a tendency to think that I'm a hair over the top. I see. Just a little. And do you Just have a, a name little. besides uh, Mrs. Eulalie? Eulalie McKenzie Shin? McKechnie. Oh, McKechnie. Eulalie McKechnie Shin. And she's introduced that way. You, have you met our mayor's wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin? So that, that middle name is always in there. I'm Barb Sweet. I know that. <laughs> Says it right there. <laughs> yes. This is your cheat sheet, huh? That's right. That's oh, great. Oh, yes. great. Great. Now, uh, I recall that you have a a pretty good voice, so you were able to sing a lot in this? Um, in the chorus, and yes, I do sing in this, um, and everybody has to come to the show to hear me sing in this. Now, in uh, Sound of Music, you got to show off your voice. Are you able to show it off here? Or? Oh, yes. Yes? Oh, yes. <laughs> in a whole different light. <laughs> totally different light and in other words um you gotta come see the show to hear me sing just worth the price of admission absolutely seven dollars just we'll say just seven dollars it is just seven dollars which actually today is very reasonable for a ticket it's you can't go to a movie for seven dollars and this is a great show and we've had a great cast and you have to understand i I think I've been on stage since the age of four, and I'm 50, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I honestly think that this show, I've had the most fun on any show just about that I've ever been in. Wow. Well, and that's, that's to the cast and the crew and the, all the directors. Oh, well, I hope so. Thank <laughs> you. But I just have had such a wonderful time, and I hope everybody else that's in it has had as much fun as I have. Okay. And I hope that shows when people come to see the show. Absolutely. Yeah, when the cast is having fun, it becomes... It shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Especially right. the, the price of admission is worth seeing me dance. <laughs> because that is not my forte. <laughs> no, so, yeah, it's worth the price of admission just to see that. Right. Absolutely. Thank right. you, Calvin, very right. Thanks, much. Barbara. You have a good evening, all right? All right. Thank you. Don't be... Uh, oh, the, the camera is rolling. Yes, yeah, Sam Castine is on the camera. Yeah, I forgot to mention that earlier, so we got to make sure we mention that. Otherwise, he won't show up anymore and tape this. Uh, we got to make sure we got four guys here. Uh, these are four guys. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Your name? Uh, Joe Coupel. Joe Coupel, and who do you play here, Joe Coupel? Um, I dance and I'm in the chorus. Yeah. I got news for you. Chorus sings, you're, but you're a dancer and a chorus member. Is that the idea? Yes. You have so you. Uh, you have, you're part of the, the people in the town, that, that what it is? Yes. All right, are you listed on here somewhere? I don't even see your name. You must be on there somewhere, let's River see. Joe Cooper, there you go, River City Band, yeah. There you are. Your name? Tyson Dupree. Tyson Dupree, you're on this list too here, at the oh, River yeah. City Band. Mm-hmm. And you sing in the chorus, are you the chorus? Oh yeah, I sing and I'm in the chorus, and my name on stage is Teddy. You got a name? Yeah. You have a name? Uh, no. How about Joe? That works. Okay, you'll be Joe. Okay. You'll be Ted. 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 Teddy. Teddy. Yeah. Alright. And you? Uh, my name is Nathan Bull. Nathan Bull, that's what you told me last year. You haven't changed it, right? What? You told me that last year, right? Yeah. I'll have to get in front of you guys. You guys mind? No problem. Alright. And Nathan Bull, Big Town, was it? Yep. Yep, and uh, you are there. There you are. You're, number, you're ahead of them, but that's because it's alphabetical or because you're better than them? I'm better than them. Better than them, okay. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Justin LaVarnway. Justin LaVarnway, there you are. You're in the chorus. You're not a River City Band fellow. Okay. Sure.
So you you don't get to hang out with the River City boys? No. No. Uh, Lavarnway, where are you from? Plattsburgh, New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> oh, I was going to think Missouri, but it's New York. You're Plattsburgh, New York. Okay. Have you been in any of these before? Uh, no, it's my first. First one. How'd you hear about it? Well, um, a friend of mine, Janice Tobin, had me um, join in. That's how I heard about it. So did you have to audition, or she said, no, I'm bringing actually, it? No, actually, they just brought me in. Just like that. You must be talented then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we needed some more. We needed some more cast members I see. to fulfill no. the town. Just, well, just to sell more tickets, right? That, that's why you brought them in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think that's true? No. Uh, is this, uh, this your hat you wear normally, or? No, no. We just no. threw these on. Oh, you just have yeah, we were just joking around. We just threw stuff on. Uh, this, you, you, will you wear this in the musical? We might wear a hat in the musical. It won't be that one there. Might not be this one. Yeah, that one there. Now there's a safety pin there. Is that on you or is that in the hat? It's in the hat. Okay. I, you know, I see people with safety pins in their in their bodies now, so I have to ask. <laughs> Have you got any safety pins on your body? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, are you nervous? Yeah. So you're going to be up there nervous up your first night there? You think you'll get better as it goes on? Yeah, I should get better. Have you been in anything before? Well, yeah, I've been in minor plays and that, but nothing this major. Nothing this big. This is just, next stop is Broadway after this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Justin LaVarnway. See, I remember that name. And uh, Nathan Bull, what the... Um, You've been in a couple of these, right? Yeah, I was in Meet Me in St. Louis and The Secret Garden, and then this year in The Music Man. That's four, if I No, that's, count. that's three. That's three. Secret Garden, Meet Me in St. Louis. And Music The Music Man. Man. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I can't count. How come you got the official shirt here? What's that? Oh, uh, uh, we bought them. Like, they were on sale, so we just, just w decided to wear mine tonight. Uh, that's a good idea. <coughs> uh, these are available to the public, too? Uh, I think so. I think they are like until all of them are sold. Like I think they go on sale the night of the play, but I'm not sure. I see. Those are pretty nice, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, let's just see. Uh, don't tell me here, uh, Dupree, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Shazy. Shazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, you recognize Sam right away, so that's the guy that takes us uh, playing, yeah. to play basketball to you? Or? No, but I love to watch varsity. Love to watch the varsity. Girls. Girls. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had a choice, I'd probably watch the girls. What would you watch? Uh, boys are much better because they just flip out on the other guys. And Corey Lewis, he's like the all-star one. He's really good at basketball, and I love just to go there and watch them bust some moves out and all that. They had a good team this year. They had a good season. Oh, yeah. Very good season this year. Uh, and girls had a good season, yeah, this year too. Girls, yeah, I just saw them. I was in Potsdam last night as we're talking here, and they looked good for a while, and uh, Jen Velige was throwing them in, but yep. did you go? Um, no, I had to miss that study uh, at school. Well, maybe you'll get to see it on Hometown Cable. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching. Oh, yeah, I will. Uh, have you been in these before? No, this one my girlfriend got me into this thing. She told me that she really liked it last year and she told me all about this play. So I guess I went and tried it out and they said, come and play and I played. Wow, great. Now, uh, have you been to them before? Have you seen any of these? Oh yeah, I saw Sacred Garden uh, the last year. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, very good. And uh, Joe Kupel? Now, uh, there's the Coupels in uh, Champlain. There's Coupels uh, all over the place. Where, which Coupels are you from? Um, Champlain. Champlain Coupels. How'd you end up here? Um, I heard about it when I was uh, at a friend's house, and they they were in previous showings, so I decided to join it because I like to dance and sing, and here I am. Decided to join it. You just you didn't have to audition. You just said I did, here I am. But they thought I was good. So oh, okay. Okay. Decided to. <laughs> Yes. Try and <laughs> try. Yes, that's right. If it sounds, I decide to join. It makes it sound like anybody could do it. Yeah. So you want to make it sound like you, you could do it. I could do. It. I know that. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know that. <laughs> I want to be a Watani girl though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Watani. Watani. Yes. All right. Anything else, you guys? Any of you guys want to tell us outside of show up on the 25th, 26th, and 27th and 8th? Um, yes. yes. I love everyone watching this. You love everyone watching this. Yes. Very nice of you.
Come Thank to you. the show. And I love watching you. Yes, come to the show. Good point, Nathan. Come to the show. Come to the show. It's, it's going to be good. good. Yes. Right. What's your favorite song? Um, I love so many, I couldn't think of a favorite. That's my favorite, too. I say Shapoopy. Yeah. Shapoopy, yeah. yes. Well, you can't say that on television. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you can't say... You can't say Shapoopy. Okay, beep poopy. There <laughs> no, we go. Shup, beep. Okay. The poopy part, you can't just say. just beep. That beep. works. Okay. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're Thank welcome. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, when's the last time I saw you? Last year. No, last night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were in Potsdam? Yep. Yep. Cheering for Madrid Waddington. No. I caught you on tape. You were cheering for Madrid. No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. <laughs> What's your name? Stephanie Hosler. Stephanie Hosler. Uh, Hos you say Haas or Haas? Haas. <laughs> you say Haas? Okay, it's not like Haas. I, I didn't want to say Haas if it's Haas. So I've always said Haas. <laughs> and what's your name? Dana Kelly. Dana Kelly. What are you doing here? You graduated and are off doing wonderful things in college, and what are you doing here? Um, I just, I've never been able to do it, and this is the first year I've had time to actually, like, take time out and go to rehearsals and stuff, so I figure I really like drama and I've been doing it in high school and stuff, and my friend Rob was supposed to be here, but he had a lot of stuff to do, so he decided not to do it, but he's cheering for us backstage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, you've been known to sing once in a while already, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so you like singing, right? Yeah, yeah, singing's awesome. I love it. It's good stuff. Yeah, so have you sung on stage on anything like this before, never? Uh, yeah, I was in a in Cinderella at Northeastern in ninth grade. I think I was like Queen Maisie or something. But it, it was fun. I had a couple solos. It was cool. I like acting and singing. It's fun. So are you just wearing that shirt or are you going to Clinton? No, it's where I go, Clinton Community. And next year I'm going to be transferring to Potsdam. So hopefully to get in maybe to their theater program and do some education stuff and stuff like that. So oh, great. Yep. So you, music is in your future, you hope? I hope so. <laughs> if people pay me to do it, why not? <laughs> Uh, what do you do in this? Um, I'm just a chorus person. Just a chorus. Don't say just a chorus person. <laughs> the meat of the show. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see now. Let's see. Where are you here? There you are. Yep. Right there. Right next to Michelle. There's, I don't know. These don't seem to be in in an alphabetical order. I hope they're not in uh, talent order because you're <laughs> last. you're kind of kind of <laughs> close to the last here. <laughs> I hope not either. <laughs> Maybe it's in height. Yeah, maybe, because I'm short. Short. Yeah, now you've been in, what, 18 of these so far? How many have you been in? This is my sixth. Sixth one. Is your brother in this one? Your, what's his name? No. Uh, Randy there? No. No? Good. <laughs> uh, were you, did you see him when he played God? Yeah. Yes, I was yeah. in that play. Were you in that one? I thought George Burns played better God than him. What did you think? Definitely no. not. Definitely not. Your brother is a better God than George Burns, yeah? What yeah. was the name of that musical? Children of Eden. All right, just you, you passed the question. What, what do you do in this one? Um, I'm a chorus member also. Just, you didn't see, she didn't say just. Oh, so gotta, Steph yeah. knows the importance. <laughs> and let's see where you are listed here. It says I'm... Oh, it says you're a Watani girl. Are you a Watani girl too? No. Oh, so it's, it's wrong. Yes. Yeah. I see. So you were so good they put you ahead of the others in the chorus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else you guys want to tell us? Mm, come see the show. Come yeah. See the show. Be a good time. Yes. Yeah. Awesome show. All right. Good Thank stuff. you, lady. Thank you. It's Calvin. Get that sign right between you. There we go. Oh, that's right. You can get, you know, get together. But okay. There you go. All right. Oh, camera's rolling. He just pushes that button. That Sam is fast-fingered Sam, they call him. And your name? Lauren Malone. You have to speak louder than that now. Do you have a stage voice here? Let's hear your stage voice. Lauren Malone. That's much better. Malone, Malone, where are you on here? Are you on this list even there? Yeah, right there. Oh, there you are. One of the chorus. And? Priscilla Shivokavage. All right. Priscilla, I see a Shania. It's my mom. Hey, man, where are you? Are you on this? Oh, you're one of the Watani girls. Oh, we got a... Uh, he's, whispering, he's whispering in Sam's ear. Uh, all right, your next question. Spell Shivokavich. <laughs> you. Uh, C-H-I-V... 
I don't know the rest. That's pretty darn good, huh? Now you spell Malone. M O L E N. I don't know. <laughs> she, I did that so she couldn't laugh at you for spelling her name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and she spelled your name wrong just, just so you'd feel better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Have you been in these before? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which, what have you been in? Uh, Children of Eden and Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh, those are two uh, very good ones, huh? Yeah. Is this your favorite one so far? So, yes. So yes. <laughs> and where, where do you go to school? MoMA, I mean not MoMA, Stafford, middle Stafford. school. Stafford. Do you, uh, are you Mr. Gagnon's class at all? Oh, um, Mr. Gagnon, um, no. Mm -hmm. uh, Foxy? No. You don't know Foxy? I know Foxy, but he's in eighth grade. Oh, what are you? I'm in sixth. Sixth grade? Oh. Well, maybe someday you will be in eighth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in two years? Yeah. <laughs> and where do you go to school? Meet me in town. Meet me in town. And you're in what grade? Seventh. Seventh grade. Have you, what have you done in, before? What's your resume look like? I've been in Meet Me in St. Louis, Sound of Music, um... Oh, <laughs> uh, so Secret many. Garden in this garden. one. Last, last, yeah. Uh, yeah, last year, as you can remember. Yeah. No. So you guys have worked together before? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Unknown. No? We didn't know each other. Yeah, but we didn't know each other, but we worked together. Yeah. Because I was Agnes and me in St. Louis, so. So even though you were in the same musical? Yeah. Yeah, we don't know each other. No. You don't know each other now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we do. Yeah. Are you friends now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're not and that part of the fun of this is to make friends and meet people you otherwise wouldn't? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So would you recommend this to other people to show up and audition next year? Yeah. yeah. Don't say that. Say no, because if 80 other people show up, you guys might not get a part. Do you recommend other people show up and audition for this? No. 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 Okay. All right. Don't audition for this. They've got enough members from this year's cast to fill up next year already, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Okay, we have a couple more victims. And let's get your names. Jessica Rigby. And you are in the chorus? Mm hmm. Yeah, see, I knew that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I saw your name there. And? Uh, Joey Dumar. Yeah, and you were, you've been uh, backstage and front stage and. I'm just kind of all over the place. And this year you are what? Tommy Gilas. Let's see, let's see, there you are, yeah, Tommy Gilas with a D. About halfway down there. Yeah, there you are. Gilas with a D. It's a silent D. Yeah. Why would you come up with a name like that? I don't know, ask Meredith Wilson. <laughs> uh, what does the Tommy Gilas do? Well, in the show, it was described to me at the auditions as he is the, uh, the kind-hearted bad boy of the show. You know, he's... You know, he's kind of, he makes trouble here and there. Uh, at one point, I throw a firecracker at Mrs. Shin, you know, it's kind of stuff like that. But you know, uh, McKechnie Shin, you mean? Yeah. All right, let's get her name right. She'd be very upset if you don't. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at, okay, she's not over there. <laughs> pumpkin hat there. Yeah. All right, yeah, so you throw a firecracker, and what do they do? They just have a sound effect for the firecracker, or you have a real firecracker on the stage? Uh, sound effect. Yeah, so far it's a sound effect. <laughs> a real firecracker might not go over too good, huh? Well, not with them. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get you four firecrackers. No, they're illegal. We can't even think of that. They're yeah. illegal. We'd be breaking the law. Yeah, and I, I, can't I, do that. And I have no idea where you'd get them, so we yeah, can't do that. So what prompted you to get in front of the... Stage, on the stage this year. Well, it was actually it was from uh, last year's performance. It was just an absolute blast because last year was my first time on stage, oh, and I says, "Yep, I got to do this again." Because all the performances beforehand, I was always, you know, uh, behind the scenes, you know, with the lights or mostly with the lights. And this year, you even got a name. Yeah. yeah so that, that's really I know it's great. Right? Yeah. Now, you've been in a few of these over the years. Yeah, I was. Um, I was in I was in Little Abner when I was in second grade. That's a long time ago. Yeah. That's when Congleton was uh, Daisy May. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in Little Abner, Guys and Dolls, Babes in Arms, Winds Upon a Mattress, Oliver, Mame, Brigadoon, and Fiddler. 
Did you play the fiddle? Yeah, I yeah. was I was the fiddler yeah. and fiddler on the roof. <laughs> so you've been from the, the name person in the <laughs> yeah. in the musical after to remember the chorus. So do you have any lines? Or you just uh, yeah, have one line. I yeah. say I say, come on, professor, show us some new moves. <laughs> Did it take you a long time to learn your line? No. No? <laughs> Just like that, you said, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, outside of showing up, uh, you want people to show up? Anything else you want to tell folks? Come, enjoy the fun. We're having a great time putting on the performance, and we'd like to have you guys to have a great time to come and watch us. All right, thank you. Okay, we've got three more uh, high school students with us. <laughs> Back into 1944, high school student. <laughs> 1944. You know I graduated then. Oh, you know how old I was in 1944? No, you probably weren't. <laughs> you probably weren't. <laughs> You're uh, absolutely correct. Uh, <laughs> All right, and your name? Jane Farrington. Jane Farrington. Yeah, 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 and then here. It's up here. Somewhere. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how you spell Jane, that's Jean. That is Jen, it's Jen. French, but in oh. English it's Jean, Jane, or Joan. And I've been called Jane, I ever, however I sign everything, Jen. <laughs> that's the legal part. <laughs> now, yeah. Farrington doesn't sound very French. How'd you end up with a, a French name? Well, because when I was born, I was La Lumière. Ah, uh -huh, that's French. Yeah, very, uh -huh. definitely. And then when I was about seven years old, it was changed to light. Uh -huh. And then I married when I was 19 and I was Dwyer and my first husband died when he was 46 years old and about four years later I remarried Farrington. So that's how I came about being a Farrington. <laughs> and uh, anybody who was in business remembers Ray Dwyer, right? Oh, I think they do. He was very well liked and very much uh, respected, yeah. definitely. All right, so you've had a, a lot of names over the years then. Uh, yes, and I, I've been called all kinds, too. <laughs> <I> imagine. <laughs> okay, and? Sally Bryson. All right, I'm going to move away there, Jean, right, Jen, uh, Joan. <laughs> no, don't let her go, because we're a group here. You're a group? Yes, oh. uh-huh. We're called the Pickle... I know the Supremes. I, know. I, shouldn't have, I should have recognized you right away. <laughs> the Supremes. We're going to sing for you if you ask us, but we're the Pickle Little Ladies, and there's more of us. There's yeah. many of us. Many. And you're going to get three at a time. And there's about eight or nine of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight or nine? Uh, either eight or there's nine now, which uh -huh. is... Nine. 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 Well, there's nine, nine of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not the Supreme. We are the gossipers of this Gossip. town. Oh, the picket, the yes, yes, uh-huh. We're the, we're the yeah. small minded gossipers. The gossiping ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we yeah. pick apart everything. Yes. <laughs> For the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> How do they ever force you women to become people like that? I mean, it's uh, so, I, so I'm afraid. unnatural to... <laughs> I'm really afraid. I hope they didn't pick us by they think we're like that because we're really not like no, no, that. No, no, I, no. No, no, no. Do you want to tell us about some of the other cast members? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them started. <laughs> I mean, my name is Mary Jean Elmer, and I'm originally from New Jersey. I've been up here for about a year because I was moving closer to where my brother lives out West Hazy. And I'm one of the Pickle Little Ladies. I'm Agnes Gardner. And I and just basically follow Mrs. Shin all over. She's our mother hen, and uh, I'll go by whatever she tells us to do. <laughs> uh, I've seen these ladies, uh, and probably 40 or 50 of these over the years. Uh, is this your first? This is my first uh, production with CMT. I did a lot of community theater when I lived down in New Jersey, and uh, but I this past fall I was uh, Claire and Pritch's governess in the Nutcracker Suite and that same weekend I saw the announcement for the auditions for this show and I said gee I should get myself involved into this again so that's how I got started with that. So did you know many of these people before you got involved? I didn't know, I didn't know a soul <laughs> but I have since found out our director is my daughter's art teacher and the, the gentleman who plays Harold Hill is also uh, connected with that particular school and you know they've been really wonderful, very helpful, very friendly. We all love each other. <laughs> well it's a good way to, to meet people in the community, right? It will, it's, it's really a good way to get involved with the community. Uh, you know, it's just like, if I like to tell, tell people, like, if you're really interested and in, you're looking for a lot of hard work with a lot, not a lot of thanks, do community theater. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> or become a referee. <laughs> I don't know about the thanks, though. It's usually pretty well appreciated. Oh, yeah. And you hear that applause. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've got to warn you now, not, not all the people in Shays are as nice as these ladies. Oh, yeah. thank oh. you so much. Well, he knows no, this he, he so way nice back because we've been in for so many years. <laughs> well, these ladies have been really nice, and the other ladies, or the Piccolo ladies, have been very nice. Oh, I've, I've had a very positive experience with yes. this. Now, this is the one you told me about? No, 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 that's oh, a different, a different one. We told you not to tell. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you, you people sing, I hope. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you want me? To, you want me to ask you to sing? Is that what you said? No, 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 no. no. Well, well, we don't have to do a few of those little pick a little lady, little things. You mean the pick a little? Yeah, just want a little bit of it. Okay. Are we ready? Get that a little closer. Come here. Get out of here. Okay. Ready? Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 chip. Pick a little, walk. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk. Chip, 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 chip. Pick a little, walk. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 chip. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip. That's enough. That's enough. Talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 <laughs> Got the whole thing. Uh, now, now people won't even have to show up? Uh, well, no, that's... Oh, my yeah. goodness, no. We're just a little tiny speck of them. Now, they say the words of the kids, the songs the kids listen to now don't have any sense. Now, that one there, just, sure. you know, that's great words. I mean, that's... Yeah. Hard to learn. It's hard very to learn. Very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> they don't write them like that anymore, no, do they? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This guy gave me a little lip, and I uh, took care of him right there. Let's see there and there. Nice guy, yeah. Yeah, the way he is. Yeah, are you going to give me any more trouble? Or? Uh, I promise Calvin I'll behave <laughs> here on out. You got one of those official Music Man shirts, too, huh? Yeah, we like to pick these up and pass them around to the family. And this year, we got them uh, in plenty of time to help support and spread the word for the show. Spread the word? Yeah. Your walking billboard. Here. Sure, yeah. It's got the times on it. The time should be bigger, though, don't you think? Well... It's not my design. Artistic, artistically, it's nice. It's beautiful. It's a great design. This kind of draws people in, so they get nice and close, and they can, they'll, they'll see the times, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> people, people stare at you when you're wearing that shirt. That and the posters and the signs we have plastered everywhere. <laughs> and who are we talking to here? I'm Jeff Rigsby. Yeah, I see that there. Not to be confused with Rigby's that are also in here, but right, you're, you're right, right, right. Similar but different. Yeah, similar but different. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Marcellus Washburn. Washburn. Yes. Washburn. 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 It says burn here. Burn. Right? You say born. I say born. I'm, you say tomato. I'm from West. Tomato? I I say tomato. You? I thought so. Yeah. You're from West what? West Cheesy. West Cheesy. That might it might explain cheesy, something yeah. to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> Beekman Town influence. <laughs> Heavy on the Beekman Town. Yeah. Uh, you've been in a couple of these, Jeff, over the years. This will be my second. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I saw you. Was it last, last year, year with the Secret Garden. Yeah, that was my yeah. first time. What did you do last year? I was um, the well, gosh, I was the the general. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One of one of the one of the soldiers. Yeah. You. Right. One of the uh, as we call them spooky people. Spooky the yeah, the ghosts. spirits. Yeah. We we passed on quick and we uh, supported with music and the choir and. Now you know, you're wearing that mic there. Do you shut it? You don't shut it off. They shut they it take off care of your board. Yeah, yeah. Does it make you nervous though when you're off stage? Not at and all. And you're still wearing that mic? Every once in a while I slip, sure. And, so <laughs> and people around, yeah. You've got to be careful what you say. Yeah, yeah. Rainy has pretty good control of that. Yeah, but if she And forgets. they're really good at when we leave stage, you know, they, they take us down. So let's hope. How many mics are there? I believe we have 11 mics. So that's a lot of... And with, there's, there's a little juggling where I have to take mine off for, for one of the acts where I'm sure. not involved and, yeah, where we can get some extra support for, for the vocals. Uh, I don't think I'd want that sound job. That's just... Yeah, they're, they're, they're really busy. That's, that's going to yeah. be nerve-wracking. But, you know, they seem to relish the job. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. They, they're, they come back anxiously every year. It's, it's, it's a great group. Uh, you're what, two, four, six, seven here? You're up toward the top of the list here. You must have a... Uh, yeah, I got a big little part. Yeah, big little part little uh, supporting uh, Harold, the, the salesman. I'm uh, an old accomplice of his that I've, I've uh, made my way to Iowa before he had and uh, tried to get away from him, and he's caught up with me, and uh, I end up helping him out a little bit with, uh, with, with selling his wares to the, 
to the stubborn uh, is he, Iowans. Is he trying to pull the wool over these people? And um, I think the original idea is to, to get in and get out, uh, but... Uh, he seems like such Iowa, a nice guy, though. He is a very nice gentleman, yes. And most salesmen, yeah, we are good, nice people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. It's, it's too bad that uh, he turns out to be that way, but... Uh, but, but uh, we have a, a don't, nice... A don't, nice don't, don't give it away. Uh, we, have, we have a nice... Uh, Do you sing? Yes, I sing. You sing in the 76 trombones? Huh? I help out with the 76 trombones, a uh, little dance. A little dance? Yeah, we, we got some dancing uh, this, this year. Uh, we had a little, a little dance last little year, but dance. there's more dance. For myself, I have uh, the Shapoopi uh, song and dance. You're not allowed to say that on TV. Either. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Strike that, no, North Country, forgive take me. Out, take out the poopy there again. Take out the uh, Shapoop. Yeah. And um, what's that old saying there? I think it was uh, a little song, a little dance, a little seltzer down your pants. Uh, that was the, the clown on Mary Tyler Moore there. Oh, I was thinking of the, the, the Iowa, the <laughs> Ohio players do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. That's, oh. I guess I was thinking of something similar, <laughs> different generation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. All right, anything else you'd like to tell us? Uh, this, uh, you know, if you moved up this quickly after two years to being one of the top six or seven here, it was kind of scary. It is very scary. Thank God I'm on, not on the top because I wouldn't want that uh, poor guy doing all that. It's, it's amazing. It's just, I can't imagine how he yeah, can yeah. have a life yeah, with the lines and the music and, and the steps yeah. and I mean he's yeah. one busy man. It's my hat's off to uh, to uh, the professor. Jason, Jason Borey. Jason, yes. Well, you know. <laughs> you know him as Harold Hill. I know him as Jason, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Professor. I call him Gregory. I've got a uh, you call? When we were in Cahoots years ago, uh -huh. I knew him as Gregory, so... Where is Cahoots? Is that near what Iowa? Cahoots? To hair. What happened to what? My hair. Your hair. I used, to, I used to have a lot more hair, hair and... Uh, well, I used to have a lot more hair, too, but we, had we won't it, talk about that. We had it taken care of, and we had to, had a haircut? to, to trim it down for the part, and... Oh. Yes. Yeah, it was long for too long. I see. So, is that uh, tough for you? It's good. It's great. It's all good. I like it. It's cooler. <laughs> not so much. Especially not so much for us. So even though you didn't need to get the cut till just before. Right. You Figured it'd be a good time. With the with the operation and all, it was hard working with it and keeping it tied back and whatnot. Ease. Okay. Yep. She seemed to think it's. Yeah, she seemed seemed to think it was pretty deal. special. Yes, last yeah. night when I, I showed up for the first time with, without the hair, it was quite a shock for for, well, maybe for most she'll, of them, I guess. We'll have her get her hair cut, then we'll I ask her about her. I think we're hair. starting something here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe it. <laughs> all right, thanks, Jeff. Thank you very much. Kevin. All right, appreciate it. All right. Hope to see y'all at the show. <laughs> Even though we've already done the pick a little lily lily pick a pick a little ladies. Do that last line. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little. Pick a little, talk a little, cheap. Cheap, yeah, that's cheap. There you go. I'm not cheap. No, no, no. But that, that's how they ended their interview. So Did I they? Yeah. Oh, so I should do it that way too. Well, it's already we, just so we know. I shouldn't just, tell you this, but. But. <laughs> but. Yes. I'm a pick a little lady. You're a pick a little lady. Mary uh, Faye. Yes, I'm Maud Dunlop. Maud Dunlop. Maud Dunlop. Maud Dunlop. Is Mary Faye Pratt. I see. That. I see. You were Dunlop. I know. You know what, though? We, uh, I don't think, Amar I think... Amaryllis Dunlop. I think that we're distantly related. I don't see a mod. Is there a mod Dunlop in this list? Oh, yes, right there. Oh, there's mod. I'm right mod there. Dunlop, yeah. I'm right there. Yeah. Right in the middle. I, I, they're Dunlops, but they aren't my family. I, I see. think they're cousins. 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 Cousin Dunlops. Yeah. Oh. That's oh. the Iowan way of saying it, maybe. <laughs> Cousin. Oh, uh, Where's that? Speaking of Iowa, where's that kid that did uh, Howard Dean there? He's got, we're gonna get him. Howard Dean. Yeah, he did uh, some kid in this ta talent show here at Shay Z. He, does, he did. He did a. He did a, the screen perfectly. Yeah, he did it perfectly. Well, we gotta, we gotta have to get him to. I could do that. Yeah. Only thing is, I'm Republican. I'm Republican. I'm Republican. <laughs> hear me, Dad? Hear me? Hear me? <laughs> well, yeah. It's it's a good thing though. I hope a lot of people come out and see this show because it's fun and it's been fun doing it. A lot of laughs. We're, we're humorous, gossips, you know, we know everything that's going yeah. on, but... Now, now, do you go by Mary Faye or Mary, or...? I go by Mary, I go by Mary Faye, I go by Faye. 
<laughs> you go by Pratt. I, I tried to forget that one. <laughs> we'll go, we could revert back to McQuinney. How about that? You know, I'll go back to that. All right. No, but no, I go by all those names, and now I'm mod though, and I'm starting to answer to it. That's what scares McQuinney. me. McQuinney. I mean, you're from here, from Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There's only. Do you know any other McQuinneys? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you do, introduce me. <laughs> no, I'm from. Yeah, I've lived here all my life. My dad was Mac. Yeah. 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 My mom is Esther. Yes. Hi, mom. Yes. Um, <laughs> if they were both on hometown cable uh, when we did the Shazy the, School and the Shazy School and, and it, the Sam went and, and Bob did the tools. The tools, tools yeah. The, I mean, we still he still has have that. Tools? He has. Oh yes, we have the tools. And um, if anybody might be really interested, serious collectors, serious come on over. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah. we still have his tools. They're, they're all there. That's part of the family. I think some of those things came over on the oh. boat. Yeah. So some of those built the boat. <laughs> some of those they might have. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But no, um, it's been a lot of fun. This is my third year doing it. I enjoy it. It's makes the winter go fast. I can imagine. That's one thing it does. Do it's a lot any, of work. But any lines, Brian? Um, no. 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 I, I just do some of the gossip things. Like I shouldn't tell you this, but I shouldn't tell you this, but. And how many times have we all heard that? I shouldn't tell you this, but, but, but. but. And I thank you for coming, too. We appreciate this, all right? All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. To thank Sam, too. Thanks, Sam. All right, thanks. See you at the homestead. <laughs> okay, the camera is rolling. Tim, the tool man, Binford Tools. What's that all about? It's a souvenir from uh, Walt Disney World. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what... Tim, the tool man, has to do with Walt Disney, but... <laughs> well, they, they own the rights, so I guess they can market the product. Now, what's your name? My name's Brian Norton. Brian Norton. And where are you from? I hail from Rouse's Point. Rouse's Point, Norton's. You got it. No relation to the guy that uh, used to work at Cramden, right? No. no. You have to Dist a distant of, cousin. Did you have to put up with a lot of grief over that over o the years? Only since I was about six or seven, you know. <laughs> Not too bad. But you love it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And what's your name? Bob Musso. Bob Musso. Where are you from? I'm from Shay Z, no? <laughs> well, you're from Almost, Moores. You're from Moores. <laughs> you're from Moores. Yeah. You're now in Shay Z. That's right. <laughs> okay, and you finally decided to get in a musical? Yes, I did. Okay, good idea. Now that I've retired and have all that free time, I thought I could Keep some do this. <laughs> are you still in Moores, though? Are you helping in Moores? I'm. I'm almost done. I'll be done on Tuesday. Are you? Yes. They found, they found yep. Yep. Dennis Rasco is going to take oh, over. Is he? Yes, he is. Okay. All right. There's a scoop for you. All right. We're going to. We'll get back to everybody here. Lost for the high school. I'm Kevin Clancy. Uh, live in Cooperville right now. All right. And Tom Harris from Plattsburgh. With a voice like that, you can't be a singer, Tom. No. No way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna never change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get. To, we'll do these guys one at a time here. So, all right, Mr. Binford, uh, have you been on these before? No, this is the first time. What uh, caused you to? Well, I've been dragging the kids around the North Country. They've been in plays since they've been seven, eight years old, and uh, they finally talked me into auditioning for uh, the part in the play. And sure enough, I got one, and the rest is history. Now you're. Part, is this the quartet? Is you guys the, the quartet? Yes. Yep, this is a barbershop quartet. So have you had? You must have had some singing experience. You can't just get in a quartet without being a singer. Uh, only in the shower. Only in the shower. And, and these guys haven't they heard haven't that before. No. They haven't rehearsed with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Over your shower. And, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, now I'm not aware of a. Uh, Generations of Nortons being that far back in Rouse Point. Are you new to the area? New to the area. Well, relatively. I, I was. Uh, I came from Binghamton, New York area, uh, stationed uh, at Plattsburgh Air Force Base. Uh, when I got out of the Air Force, I got a, a few jobs around the area and ended up at Wyeth Pharmaceuticals, and uh, made our home in Rouse's Point. And like I said, both kids are in the play. They they talked me into to auditioning, and here we are. <laughs> the rest is history, right? The rest is history. It's a lot of fun, though. Great fun. All right, and Bob, now you were in a quartet before, uh, ten years ago. Yes, I played this very same role. You were at Dunlop. <laughs> Any special <laughs> reason why? <laughs> uh, and the belly's still Dunlop over the belt. <laughs> Is that a line from the musical? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just made that up. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've all I'll put this paper right here. So. <laughs> all right, now 
when Jason told me you were reprising your role here, I said there was another role that I wish you would reprise. Do you remember a guy named uh, y- Yatevia? Or Tevia, or yes. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that role very much. Yep. You really got into that one. Yes, I did. That was, that was quite an experience. That was it tough when you were, here you were principal of the school and you had to work with these high school kids? Uh, well, I was principal at the elementary school. Oh, it was before you became high school Yes, principal. I was principal at the elementary school. And that, that musical is probably the reason I became high school principal because I worked with those kids and I thought boy someday uh, I'd like to work with kids that age and uh, it was that same year that Bud Moore retired and so I said well I better try now or I may not have another chance and I got the job and been there ever since until uh, until I retired yeah. so have you uh, done many musicals recently no uh, the last one I did was uh, was Music Man ten years ago. Was it? Yes. Wow. Doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was. <laughs> you were a lot younger than Bob. About ten years. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> now let me guess. This is your second one as a Shazy musical. Yeah, second one in Shazy. First one was last year. Yeah, I knew that. All right. Now, is your wife going to behave this year? She's wearing that same dress. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not dancing next to her this time, so we might, we might be safe. She's going to have more pins and things, you know. Maybe suspenders hold the thing on. You, know? oh, you must have been totally embarrassed when you got out. Oh, she, w- she was mortified at the time, but I mean, she, since then it's funny. But, you know, it's, it's a family. You know, well, I can family. imagine at the time, you just, you oh, just want to die. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it was my fault, so I got to, you know. Your fault? Yeah, it was my fault. We were dancing around, and, and someone got us too wide on that dance where we circle around and got me into the curtain, and getting out of the curtain, I stepped on her dress, and then down it came. So oh, no. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. C- couldn't escape the blame on that one. It's just, it's right there. So there he had the Presbyterian minister standing up in front of the, all the world to see, and this is long slip. And so, and she's going to love me for repeating the story on on the camera. She's just... Well, I haven't brought it up more than three, four times so far already. So oh, well, you've been restraining yourself then. Yes. All right. I'm <laughs> proud of you for that. It's Lent. You should restrain yourself. Yes, I, I try. <laughs> I should give up talking about that for Lent, right? <laughs> My wife would appreciate it if you would, yes, I'm sure. All right, I'm starting right now. Uh, now, you've done stuff before you came here, right? Well, we, did so, we lived in Upper Sandusky, Ohio before we came here, and we did several shows uh, at a local community theater there. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot smaller productions than this. Uh, they all were, but we did a couple of musicals. did a, did a, a Gershwin, and, and I don't even remember now what we did, but we did a... My favorite show that we did there was a, a play called uh, Bull in a China Shop, where I got to play an Irish detective, and about half the Half the play was my lines. I had to memorize all these things and do them in an Irish accent for about two and a half hours. You should have done this interview in an Irish accent. I haven't had enough beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you on St. Patty's Day. Uh, I indeed. Alrighty. And you're wearing the green. <laughs> Every day. Right. In my heart, if not on the body. Okay. Tom, I didn't know you could sing. Well, sure. What's that group you're, is it, what's it, acapella, what's it, acapella, what's the name of that group you Eclectricity. Eclectricity. Electricity. Right. Wow. So you've been singing in a group for a long time. I've you done many stu- musicals? I've done, this is the fourth time I've done The Music Man. Is it? Yes. Okay, I've done the, always part of the chorus? Or? Always, always in the quartet. I did it in uh, Westport and at the uh, State University College in Plattsburgh 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, and at Peru a few years ago, and, uh, and other plays also. Another besides that. Yeah. Right. Now, your, your group, is there two or three? There's three of you, is there? That's in your group, you're not this chorus. Three, three women and I. Three women and you. Oh, yes. Okay. And you? Yeah. We still perform. We don't practice enough, but we still perform. <laughs> and uh, we're having fun with this show. The uh, people here have uh, really been good. They uh, they um, have a very well organized rehearsal schedule, and uh, things go off as they should be. And this this should be a terrific show. Got some terrific leading people here. The the uh, Two leads, Jason Borey and Heather, who plays Marion, and the mayor's wonderful, and the young fellow that plays Winthrop, uh, terrific. Okay, and there's other th- terrific ones here too. So if you didn't mention oh, you, absolutely <laughs> right. I you didn't mention you. It's not not. You've already interviewed me, so yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And these guys are great to work with too. I mean, we're having we're having a good time. Do you with kind it. of carry the quartet there? Uh, kind of I, carry them I, w I don't. I don't say that. Think that you could exactly say that. Well, we outweigh the leader. He's been our leader. <laughs> Tom and I outweigh the other two, but I don't know if we outsing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys just sing the? There's one main number you sing, right? Oh, we have all several. Oh, there? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. It's been ten years since I've seen it, so I. Light and Rose is the main song that best, best known. that we do. Uh, best known song, yeah. Uh, anything else that any of you guys want to tell us besides show up? Which everybody's been telling us. Uh, this is honestly, this is going to be a fabulous show, and I think it's going to be sold out. And I, I think it well should be sold out because this is just well, it's just going to be a great production. Energy, it's just the energy. You know, uh, after yeah. you hear 76 trombones, how can you not start jumping up and down, yeah. right? That's right. And, and, we're, and where we are two weeks from production, you know, two weeks from now, yeah. this is going to be even better. All right. Thank you guys. Good. Thank you, Kelvin. Thanks for having us on. Take care. Yeah. See you in the hard work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sam, Kelsey's in the show as well. yeah, we'll get these. We're just going to get this fellow right by himself here. We'll get those four people there in just a moment. But Sam says, I recognize this guy. He's from Vermont. His name is Howard. Is that true? Yes, I am Howard Dean. And I, Howard Dean? I, I dropped out of the race, though. You dropped out of the race? I bet you were number one in Shazy and a few other places. Well, of course, but I am transferring all my uh, support to Al Sharpton. Uh, would you give us a little stump uh, enthusiasm here? Would you tell us where you're number one and so on? Could you tell us that right now? Well, anyways, uh, we're, we we used to be number one in Shay Z, but now now w next we're going to Vermont, and and, th and then we're going to Canada, and and, and we're going to go to Scioto, and 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 we're going to go to Washington, take back the White House. Yeah! I thought you were going to uh, Irona and Scioto and uh, Wiggletown, and well, well, of course we're going to Wiggletown. That's a must-have. <laughs> Uh, Sam came back with that tape. He, had, he showed me that immediately. That, you did, that helped put your class over the number one, right? In the talent show at the Shay I, I think so. I think it helped. What's your real name, Howard? My real name is Sam Meehan. So that's why Sam liked it. He's, his name is Sam also. Did you know Sam's name was Sam? No, no? I've never met Sam. You never met Sam? No. I, I know only a few Sams. Well, now you know another one. I know another one now. Good. <laughs> All right. What are you What are you doing? You're just backstage person. Yep. I'm do, I'm doing lighting. Lighting. Yep. That's extremely important. It is. Well, have you done lighting before? Last year I was spotlight. So, and then the first time I ever did it was Little Shop of Horrors in the summer, and I did uh, the sound for that. So. Okay. Now, but you got up on stage with that talent show. You thinking of maybe getting involved on stage next year in this? I don't know. I'm I might. You never know. <laughs> Big comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam Howard Dean. Thank you Dean. very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. All right, who's next? We're on camera. Sam's going to keep rolling here, so behave. One, two, three, four, five folks. Come on over here so we won't be bumped by the door. My other, that's grown your name? Laura Remillard. Laura Remillard. Let me see. You must be related to Ray Remillard. Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> Now, I know there's some Remillards in the Peru area. Where are you from? Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh. That's near Peru. Yeah, but we're not related to them. You're not related to them? No. You used to be a Remillard in Champlain. You related to them? You didn't know? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a French name, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So how long your family been in uh, Plattsburgh? Um, just my parents. You're That's the first a, one? Yep. Just your parents, you know, living. No, I. <laughs> so, uh, this is your first musical in Shazy? Yes. What grade you in? I am in 10th grade. All right, so you enjoying this? You're, uh, what are you here? Are you a chorus member? What are you? Yes, I'm in the chorus. You're in the chorus, all right. You having any words to say in the musical? Um, no, just no. singing and dancing. That's enough, isn't it? Mm hmm. It's enough for me. That's <laughs> and? Sarah Fortin. Sarah Fortin. Are you the only Fortin left here that's going to be in this this year, or is there another Fortin? Well, yeah, because my... Besides your father here. Well, right? yeah. My sisters, um, they're all either graduating this year or they already have, so I don't think they'll be coming back. <laughs> <laughs> they're not coming back. So I don't think so. you to hold up the fort for all the Yeah, the, the last the of them. <laughs> so what's your part? I'm just a chorus. Just a chorus. That's important. All I like. <laughs> Is everybody in your family sing? Yeah, so kind of so had to. So you walk around at home singing? <laughs> My dad does. Does he? 
Does it sings. bother you? No, not really. You get used to it because yeah. after every sentence, he always breaks it into a song. So <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Pick up that milk you spilled, and he starts singing. Yeah. Seventy-six <laughs> trombone. <laughs> no, it has to do with spilling milk. Oh, he makes up songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, maybe you should record some of those and play them back for him someday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and your name? Jamie Legree. Legree? Legree. Legree. Yeah, am I saying that right? <laughs> it's no? close enough. Not, no, no, no one can pronounce it. Where is it on here? Show it to me here. Legree. Legree. Right there. Oh, Legree, like Peter Legree. Yep, he's my dad. He's your dad. Oh, that's why you spell your name the same. What? Uh -huh. That's why you spell your name the yeah. same. So how'd you end up here? Um, I just always have seen it in the past, and I always wanted to be in it. So when I heard about the trials this year, I decided to come. You live in Plattsburgh? Yep. So you've come to this in the past? Yep. I came the last couple of years. So that's a way to get in free, right? <laughs> <laughs> and your father's going to have to come four times? Yep. <laughs> that's 28 bucks right there? Yeah. It's expensive. Yep. Yep. So have you been in musicals before? Um, I've been in a couple, but when I was younger, not for a while. Oh. So you're a chorus member or no? Watani girl? Yep. Have you seen your outfit yet? You're <laughs> no. You're anxiously awaiting? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you don't sound too anxious. Are you going to be able to wear your glasses or you have to No, I have, off? I have contacts I'll put in. Okay. Because, uh, you know, probably in that time period there weren't too many people wearing glasses. So you got to look, look the part. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're not going to be tripping over yourself because you've got contacts. No, hopefully not. Okay. If you trip over yourself, it's not because of your, your glasses, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you play sports? Uh, softball. Uh, softball. I thought I'd seen the Liguri name out there somewhere along the way. And your name? Kelsey Martinez. Kelsey Martinez. Where are you, Kelsey Martinez? In the chorus. In the chorus. <laughs> Have you been in this before? Oh, there you are. Mm, nope. I've no? never done one before. <laughs> never done one before. Where are you from? Rouse's Point. Rouse's Point. <clears throat> How long have you been in town? Since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and that has how long? Uh, 16 years. <laughs> 16 years, okay. So you go to Northeastern? Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Uh, you said this is your first one? Mm -hmm. What made you decide to come out for it? Oh, I've been coming to see the musicals for a long time here, so I finally auditioned for one. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you know all these people now? Isn't that nice that you get to know these people? Well, you know, it's you know, it's nice. You guys don't wouldn't have got to to know people from other schools without uh, getting in something like this. So I think it's a good opportunity. You don't mind knowing these people, do you? No. Okay. You do? Yeah. Just that one. Just that one? Yeah. Wow. There's, there's a lot of that going around. So <laughs> she's just pulling your leg. <laughs> and your name? Mallory Norton. Mallory Norton. I just. Saw a fellow named Norton. Yeah, he's my dad. <laughs> he's dad huh? He says he sings at home. Is that true? All of the time. All the time. Do you like uh, Mr. Fortin over there? And well, he doesn't make stuff up. <laughs> make stuff up? <laughs> no, he just sings and sings and sings. Is he a good singer? He's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> are you a good singer? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. Are you? What are you? Chorus. Chorus. The river. Oh, Derek, you're in the chorus here, okay. Is this your first time? Nope, third. I was in Sound of Music and The Secret Garden. All right. Are oh, you going to school together? Yep. Did you, were you friends before this? Or acquaintances? Or? Yep, we were friends. Friends? Yeah. Were you friends before this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we were. <laughs> now, you're better friends? Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can make friends and influence people and have a good time if you join the musical. And anything else? Any of you ladies want to tell us? <laughs> time is up. Thank you. <laughs> whoop, hey, whoop. Whoop. Watch your tongue, there, young lady. Oh, young lady. Watch your <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I don't even know what I did. I'm sorry. You said uh, a word that didn't sound so good. No, did it's I? A, it was yes, on purpose. It wasn't. No. I would never do that. It wasn't on a purpose. No, on camera. No. no. And your name? My name is Ray Remillard. Ray Related Remillard. to Laura. Uh, I just talked to Remillard here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. She said you're the first Remillard in Plattsburgh. Well, of our family, yep. 
You're from, from Vermont, Vermont originally. originally. Yeah. Well, right that, maybe. I think my family came from the Lacole area, uh, Nap uh, Napierville, mm -hmm. just across the border. Settled in Vermont, St. Albans, and I grew up in a little town called Highgate. Uh -huh. Which is right on the border. Right near the border, yep. Yeah. And then came over here to Plattsburgh State in 1976 and pretty much stayed ever since. A couple of stays in Vermont here and there, but 1980 on in Plattsburgh. So you, you, you attended school in Plattsburgh? Are you teaching there? What, what's Plattsburgh State? What do you mean? Well, I went to school at Plattsburgh State mm -hmm. and um, met my wife who's from Niagara Falls there. And uh, we were both in school at the same time. And while I was in school, see, I, I went three times and finally graduated in 89. Uh, but my first 76 time, to 89. Yes, that's it. Long spread. Yes. So it does happen. You just have to, with determination, you can get it done. But um, I met uh, Joe Rock, who is, I believe, Ruben Remillard's sister, when I was going through one of the dining halls at Plattsburgh State. And one day, as I was going through line, this woman says, hey, cuz, how's it going? <laughs> and, you know, we started talking, because she saw my um, dining hall card or whatever, and with my name on it, and found out that um, the, the Remillards of Peru are a pretty big family, and um, that we, f we figured we were related somewhere back a few generations, so. You just have to dig far enough back. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, so have you yeah. been on these before? No, this is my first time with a Shazy Music Theater. You and another I, yes, I um, <clears throat> I started out on the New York side, uh, being in a production I believe that was at Northeastern Clinton called Cactus Flower, <laughs> with uh, a theater group that I don't think is uh, together anymore. Then I did a few productions while I was in college at Plattsburgh State, and I also did some with Plattsburgh Little Theater. Um, and I think the, m the most uh, memorable productions for me uh, was uh, doing Same Time Next Year with Judy Wiseman, who uh, was on Jeopardy last week. Mm -hmm. Dr. Um, Dr. Judy. Dr. Wiseman, yes. Um, but being in a play, I got to know her a little bit better. So she said I could, I could just call her Judy. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> what a name dropper, huh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I know Lisa Gay was yeah. on Jeopardy 12 years ago. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, I also was in a production with Plattsburgh Little Theater, my last one, called Making a Killing, where I played a kind of Harold like character, her Harold Hill character. Um, and I did uh, music theater with Friends of Theater, did Edwin, or The Mystery of Edwin Drew, California Suite, and then the Summer Theater Plattsburgh State I did, um, My Fair Lady and uh, Kiss Me Kate. So, <laughs> so you, you've been in a few a of few. these. No yeah, yeah. Yeah. no stranger <laughs> to the stage, like Tracy here. Yeah, she, well, <laughs> well, she started out on Wells Fargo. That's right. <laughs> 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 yes, that's one of my, actually that's my, probably my favorite song in the show, Wells Fargo. Wagon. Wagon, yep. In this show? Yep, in this show. Isn't that a coincidence? On that stage, singing Wells Fargo? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Number yeah. three listed here. My goodness. Of course, you've been top filled before, too. You? <laughs> you, you started uh, what, two, three, four years ago. How long ago was your big deal? Uh, actually, well, I actually, my first show was Fiddler on, on the roof that they did here. Uh, I think that was three years prior to uh, Children of Eden. Was it? Yeah. Or two years prior. And now you're in such demand. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I think you're I just enjoy, I really do enjoy it. We mentioned your name. I don't know. Uh, I'm Tracy DeCost, and I've uh, been with CMT. I think this is my seventh year, seventh or eighth year. Now, Sorry. do you have to audition anymore? You just show up and say, I'm here. No, I audition, <laughs> like everybody else. I'm here, give me my part. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's, no, 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 no. Never. I would never make that assumption, ever. <laughs> I just, uh, it's just nice to get together with all the people that c and get involved because they're a great group, really. Well, the problem with this CMT here is it keeps drawing in new talented people, mm -hmm. and it gets harder to... Like Ray. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm so glad he came. To, to, the uh, to get in this because you've got you know you got to get Heather Haskins and you got uh, 
the Tobin and so other other people. Yep. And all of a sudden, you've got all these great voices. That <coughs> yep, and it so much adds to everything we do. You know, you, that's the heart of the show is all the talent that comes. Not just on stage either. I mean, right. the sewers, the you know, the, the people that people. Pro, yeah, they do such a tremendous job that if they didn't do their job, we wouldn't have a show. Right. You know, Bob Bryson building the sets. Kate Ferguson painting. I mean, Rini and her husband Rini, doing the yeah, sound I mean, with the. Uh, yeah, you know, there's, there's so much that goes on. Well, we can't say beyond back of the stage because it, it's shown up on the stage, you know. But right, right. Uh, there's just there's and and everything that yeah. it's always been first class in this operation here. It's just. Well, thank you. It mm -hmm. always has been, you know. Well, thank you. Know, you. You've never painted a, a scene. Or, have you ever painted any scenes? I've helped. She was painting a couple of I, weeks I ago. I can. Yeah. I, but it's, I own my own house now, and I'm like, that is... I'm not going to do any painting. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> it's like on Saturday when I have time to paint. I've got to go to the garbage run, and i got to do this, and I'm like, the time I have is very minimal. So I try to help when I can, but... All right, so you must have uh, your number three listed here behind uh, your sister's Peru. Are you uh, Marion's mother? Is that yes, I'm Marion's Irish mother. Well, that's a big Irish. stretch because this is oh, my third. Irish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah big stretch. I was Irish uh, last year's show, and then I was Irish and Meet Me in St. Louis. <laughs> Louis, so uh, it's a big stretch. I don't know if people can take it. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you sing? Do you have a, a solo or anything? Um, no. I not a lot of singing this year. No, no, not a lot. I just have a, I have a song I sing with Heather, who plays my daughter, mm -hmm. and um, a little snippet in Gary Indiana, which I sing with once with Jason and then once with uh, Brandon Tobin and Heather. Well, Heather is young enough to be your daughter, though, right? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the makeup, right? Yes, and they're gonna make me look a lot, make her look a lot younger. <laughs> Yes, that's what they're going to do. It. It's going to be a, a project. You know? <laughs> well, thanks, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ray, what's your part again here? You just mean to be awfully Shin. smooth. Mayor Shin. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. He's going to be so funny. All right. mm -hmm. Your wife's a troublemaker, huh? Yeah, she's a little wacky oh, at you, times. You knew that, though. Oh, you're coming into you know, this. Did she like that before you married her? Uh, I, from what I hear, yes. Because it was a you quick hear, marriage. You know? um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, very quick. <laughs> As a matter of fact, overnight, <laughs> I met and married, and then we were mayor. <laughs> On the stage. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you. you. Very much, Two Calvin. of the top, uh, let's see, top five here. So five. we've got 40% of the top five cast right here. Hey, <laughs> and we make a good duo, too. We, we're forming our own comedy act. Right. So At the end, we do, we road. have one line that we share <laughs> together, which is wonderful. And it's actually... We a do? Unifi <laughs> yes, because I said, I told you about this it. This is yeah. Peru. That's Winthrop. Oh, yes. That's right. And yes. You, we look at each other. That's right. I forgot about yes. that. It's very, very special. How could you forget? Yes, yeah, it's very special. I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so special that it <sighs> slipped my mind. All yes, right. It did. <laughs> but I just want to say, too, this is a reunifi reunification, reuniting <laughs> of us, because we worked together for a little while at a custom house yeah, program here. About 13 years ago? Yeah. And when I saw Ray show up for auditions, I was like, ah, it was it really was, cool. It was. You know, and I'm glad we're... We used to have a lot of fun when we worked together. Laughed a lot together. If you were still working together, you'd have to be singing together at work. All the time. We wouldn't get anything done. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It'd be just <laughs> chaos. We'd probably get fired. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Well, well thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I have to go drag some people kicking and screaming out of the... You're having too much fun watching the rehearsals in there. Well, actually, some of it we feel like we've just seen for the first time. <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun doing this. And what is your name? Janice Tobin. Alma Hicks. I oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> Alma Hicks. <laughs> One of those Iowan <laughs> ladies. Now, um, I saw your son here. He's, he's got a, a role, and you Brandon? brought him along? Yeah? Yes, Winthrop. Yeah, uh, did you have to talk him into it, or did he say, Mommy, I want to go? <laughs> oh, no, he's raring, raring to get into a really good part, finally, he? yes. He's very happy. Well, yeah. he's four, listed number four here, so that's pretty darn good. Yes, yeah. He's, um, I, well, and we've been watching the show a little here and there, 
we have the video of the musical and it still brings tears to our eyes and makes us laugh and yeah and I think um, it's a role definitely that suits him very well now, it's fun he said he he has watched the movie and you know he's he, uh, <laughs> trying to emulate a little bit the but when you do one of these roles you, you try to bring your own version of it right right only um, the way the director has me portraying a pick a little lady and many of the pick a little ladies, it's not quite the way we normally act at all. <laughs> we're just, we're very chatty and da -da 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 and, you know, it, and silly and it's fun. <laughs> you get to get, you get out of your, your normal self. Right? That's right. <laughs> now you were, let's see, the were you the live person or the dead person last year? Oh, I was um, one of the dead people, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a few more lines this time, actually. <laughs> well, you got to sing last year, though. I you? did, and yeah. I sing this to year, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the Pick a Little Ladies, so we have a Pick a Little song, and some of the uh, singing parts are shared with me in quartet or so. But yeah. Nothing solo? Um, just the speaking parts in the song I, I'm doing. Yeah. And it's pretty quick, so and some of it can feel like a tongue twister, but it just kind of rolls off the tongue. <laughs> now, are you able, do they expect an Iowan accent? Or are you able to talk in your normal voice? Or outside, of being, it's outside it of being a pickle lily lady there? Well, yeah, it's actually, I think I'm kind of a complainer. And so I. In the role only. In the role. <laughs> And and some some of the time I think our voices as Iowa residents is supposed to be more of a monotone I'm told but we're really just ourselves so yeah they haven't worked on the only one with an accent truly would be Mrs. Peru who has the Irish accent oh yeah Tracy, yeah yeah well she has so. to have an accent but the rest of you can that's right they be haven't normal right <laughs> I don't know if there's a, a Iowan accent. I, I wouldn't think so, but I don't know uh, if we when, have an accent. When do we, do I we say have an one, accent? <laughs> I guess, yeah, it depends on sometimes the lilt to your voice. Yeah, some people can tell, right, just when listening to people talk where they're from. I mean, if they're from Boston, you can usually tell, or Brooklyn, or, you mm -hmm. know. But Certain things betray you. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. All right, you've done many of these over the past. What's been your favorite role? Oh, favorite role. Well, uh, it was really nice being the Baroness Bunch um, Schrader um, in The Sound of Music. That was a really nice role. And one of my favorite shows, though, really was The Secret Garden last year. It was such a beautiful, haunting mm -hmm. type of show. It and was different. Left was so close. much for the imagination. And a lot of it was in the girls' imagination and memories. So, it, you know, it just fits so well. Yeah. Um, and music was very challenging. Um, nine part harmony. This one here is more like rap music. A lot of it's quick spoken words and um, it's um, just fun, you know, not too challenging voice wise, really. So, right, so you're enjoying yourself? I am, yeah. <laughs> and you got your son involved, so what, what can be better than that? That's right, to do it with family. All right, thanks, Janice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, this girl would only come on if she had these people here, but we've already talked to them, so you're not allowed to say anything. Don't just sit, but all right. All right. Your name? Heather Rivers. Who? Heather Rivers. Did they name the city after you? No. No? It's River City. Heather Rivers. Let's see, where are you? Are you one of the, uh, the wonton girls? No? Your no. Chorus? Chorus. Chorus, yeah, there you are. You been in these before? Yes. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Shazy. One of the Shazy Rivers? <laughs> are you one of the great Shazy Rivers? Or <laughs> no. no? Just one of the average little Shazy Rivers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. You said you've been in these before? Yeah. What'd you do? Um, meet me in St. Louis. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, alright. And Children of Eden. Well, that's pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you look forward to this every year to come out and join up? Yep. Yeah. All right. And do yeah. you, you know these people before you got involved in this? Uh, I knew her. Yeah. Megan. Uh -huh. I didn't you know, know her. From here. No. Now you're friends? I guess, yeah. Yes. 
say yes while she's standing right here. <laughs> yes. Say we're good friends. Yes. Is it nice meeting new friends? Just top. That's good. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever you feel comfortable doing. Hello, Renee. <laughs> Renee's hiding, hide, running into the auditorium. <laughs> have you ever done this before, young lady? Yes, I have. <laughs> Give us your name. Everybody else has given us their name. I'm Heather Haskins. The Heather Haskins that you've heard so much about. <laughs> and did such a great job last year. Thank you. Well, that was no, a fun show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that, was a, that was a different show. Yes. But it was challenging voice-wise. But Absolutely. It was very, 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 very nicely done. And I don't think anybody left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not really appreciating the show you guys did. And this year you're right up there, co-host, co-starring with Jason Boy. It's probably been a lifetime dream to co-star oh co with Jason. Oh my goodness, you have huh? no idea. It's such an honor. <laughs> such a deep honor. <laughs> he told me to say that, but... <laughs> uh, do you even have to... Uh, I asked some of these other people here. Do you even have to audition now? You. Absolutely. Yeah, I actually didn't think I'd get a part this year, so I was I was uh, happy to get the part. And yeah, it's kind of unusual because you were the major role last year to yeah. to do that two years in a row because so many talented people come out absolutely for this every year that they want to kind of sh spread it around a absolutely. little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, yeah, you could, should feel extremely honored to yeah. to get the part of Heather Haskins. Now, Heather Haskins is the love interest. Uh, of Harold Hill, is that yes, the idea? Yes, Marion. She's the librarian and she's... Uh, I say Heather Haskins. That's okay. In real life, I love I'm him so, too. I'm sorry, Marion. <laughs> Marion Peru. Yes, she's, uh, she's the love interest and doesn't really want to be, but ends up falling in love with him. So He's such a rascal. Yeah, You can't trust that guy. I you know, know that? I know. Yeah, you, you know He's fit for this part, I think. <laughs> uh, uh, what... What's some of the songs that you'll be singing in the, in the musical? Um, I sing Goodnight My Someone and um, Till There Was You and uh, I do a, a really nice duet with the Barbershop Quartet that's a lot of fun. They're wonderful. They have a beautiful sound. How can you do a duet with a quartet? I know. They, they kind of have one piece and I have the other so I don't know what to call it. But You do a quintet with, yeah. a, <laughs> with a quartet. <laughs> Absolutely. So a lot of dancing this year too. So. Out yeah. Till There Was You, that's another one that's kind of high up in the yeah, range. Yeah, that's challenging. But that's kind of your forte, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, hitting those notes and doing it on a footbridge this year, so. Yeah. And you must have a ton of lines, too. Yeah, quite a few, more than last year. So that's been the challenge this year, is memorizing all the lines and... Yeah, it's got a you got, you got a, a big part. Not not as big as I would think as as Jason's probably as line wise. Right, he has quite a few more lines, but yeah. Uh, do you go around the office at work there and sing? Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I've been practicing my dance moves in the lobby, and <laughs> they've asked me to stop. So. <laughs> and after the musical is done, you got to wipe all those songs out. I, yeah, I kind of hang on to them, and I use them for future audition songs, and. Stuff yeah, like that. But you must, after you get done doing one of these and you've rehearsed these songs so many times and some of them are, are catchy, like, you know, like last year, you come to, uh, come to the garden, you must catch yourself singing it six months later. I do, yeah, absolutely. And I always buy the soundtrack when I'm in a show, so that's what I listen to in my car, songs from old shows and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Well, if you've never caught uh, this young lady in a musical, this is the year to do it. Uh, <laughs> Does a does a fantastic job. Uh, how many of these have you been in in Shazy? This is my fourth show here. So I did uh, Brigadoon, Fiddler on the Roof, and then The Secret Garden last year. So. And you think you might come back again? I'd love to come back. I'd love to come back next year. So. And you do some other places during the off. When it's not uh, here in Shay Z, you're doing others throughout yeah, the year. Yeah, I do a little bit of theater in Plattsburgh, but I pretty much this is my big project for the year and kind of stick to this group. Well, there's only so much you can do because yeah. it takes, this is like a, a sports season here. Yeah. Just, you just got to really true. devote your 
your second life to this when Absolutely. you're doing it? Absolutely. Bring dinner here and everything else. So. How, how soon before the musical does it become that hectic? I mean, you don't have to show up here in December and show up every night to, for hours and hours, do you? Uh, no, we started three nights a week, or two, two or three nights a week and some Saturdays. In the past two weeks, it's been pretty much every night. So it'll be, I'd say for about the month of March, we do every night and then Saturdays. So it gets pretty hectic for about a month. Uh, you've been through this before and you, here we are two weeks away. Is it easier to, to understand how you're going to be set two weeks from now, where a couple, maybe your first time you said, we'll never be there, yeah. we'll be ready? Some people are a little panicky and I just keep saying we're right on track. If it's, <laughs> if it's a little rough now, it's going to be perfect. So It just seems to turn out that yeah, way. Yeah, that's how it always goes and it's, it's going so well. I'm, I'm really happy that it's going really well. So. All right. And tell Old Navy they owe us uh, some <laughs> Advertising. Here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Thanks a lot, Calvin. Did you get everybody? Are you looking for anybody else? No rolls at all. Huh? No, I don't have a roll this year. <laughs> this guy has no roll. I have no idea why we're talking to him. <laughs> Just the music director this year, which is Just nice. Just the music director. Yeah. And look at the. Jason wrote in director Dan Gallagher, yes. but I don't see music director written in anywhere. Right under Oh, there it is. Right there under is. there. Yeah. There it is. Now your daughter told me that she's the last of the Fortins. That's right. <laughs> she's the last of the female Fortins, or the ones that will be involved in the, uh, the show. And what is your name, young man? Jill Fortin. Now she also told us that you spontaneously make up songs at home. If somebody oh, yeah. spills the milk, you make a song about it. Is oh, that true? Oh, yes, yes, that's true. I sing a lot at home. You make up songs just like that? Absolutely. All right, just kicked you in the shin now. Ouch! <laughs> no, no, I'm supposed to make up a song about it. Well, it has to be a little bit more spontaneous than that. Well, I'll give you a... <laughs> I do it in my classroom, too. It, it, that works, so <laughs> kids like it. So you just... Make up all these songs. You've probably yeah. written thousands of songs over the years. Um, only not, uh, not many. Only when I was in, in college. I went to Crane School of Music and then uh, um, and I've recently written a liturgy f at the Lutheran Church. The whole, the whole mass. Oh, wow. There. Yeah. Yep. It's been fun and actually having not directing this year has allowed me to have the extra time to do some writing and uh, rediscover something that I used to do many years ago. <laughs> many years ago. So let's touch on that a moment. You, you wrote the liturgy, so you've written songs? Yes, the songs? Kyrie, the Gloria. Well, um, the meals have already been written now. Right, right, but it's just a version of the Mass. Them? Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I haven't written the words, just the melody, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> the words are already written. <laughs> now, does, uh, now, the Kyrie, uh, that's from, you know, I remember that from my days, at, uh, the younger days at St. Mary's and so on. Right. So, right. the Lutherans also had a Latin? Yes, uh, it's very much, it's actually very much like the, um, the Catholic Mass, where they have the Kyrie, the Lord of Mercy, and then the Glory to God, and... Uh, Gospel acclamation, the guy, you know, <laughs> the Lamb of God, the offertory, all of that is all part of the, the Lutheran liturgy. And I'm the music director at the Lutheran Church in Plattsburgh. Oh, okay. So. I see. We've uh, seen you here all these years, and I never, never knew that. Well, I've, I've, I've been there for two years, but um, again, having this year off from directing and just doing the music, it's allowed me to have a little bit more time to focus in on, on that piece, which has been very nice. Uh, in the past, you have been up on stage. Uh, you must enjoy that. Yes. Uh, is it tough yeah. to say, I'm going to not be on stage? Um, it, or did you audition and not make it? No. <laughs> I didn't audition, but uh, I actually, I like, I like being off the stage um, more. I, I enjoy singing, but I'm out of practice, and it's, it's just like the old trumpet. You know, if you don't practice, you lose, you, you lose your chops, and that's pretty much what, what has uh, happened with me. I still enjoy it, and I might try to give, get a, uh, a chance to do it again sometime. But. Well, you we went to Crane, you said, so there's yeah. exercises you do for your, yeah, vocal, your voice. Yeah. It's not like just walking around singing. That doesn't keep you... Right, right. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. You don't have the, the tone quality changes a lot. And 
age might have something to do with that too. <laughs> you just have to bring it down a little bit. That's right. <laughs> That's right. My tenor days are slowly leaving. <laughs> when we see all these old rock and roll singers uh, and these, these That's right, reprises, the yeah, yes, yeah. they yeah. can't quite hit those, those notes. It's the same were. key anymore, no. 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 You got to bring it down a little bit. Yeah. So, music director. Um, yeah. Uh, so, what's the difference between the music director and the and the overall director, and what happens if you conflict? The uh, well, actually, it, there's been minimal, actually, no conflicts. You know, he, the director's in charge of of everything. What he say says go, and and it's been wonderful having Dan um, involved this year. He brings a, a fresh touch and uh, a good perspective. Um, and the music director just focuses on the vocals, the soloists, the chorus, and uh, then the orchestra coming in on Sunday. We'll be having our rehearsal with, with them. Now, is the director allowed to say, you know, maybe you're happy with something up there? Or you, is the director allowed to say... Absolutely. I don't like it, or that song's got to go, or... <laughs> Yeah, that's bite, right. Bite your tongue. That's right. <laughs> that's why he gets the big bucks. <laughs> uh, is, has Dan been involved in Shazy Music Theater before? No. Um, this is his first time. And uh, originally I was going to direct and then just felt overwhelmed and felt like I needed some time off. And uh, um, and Dan was gracious enough to step forward and, so and say he, he would take it. Uh, um, he's he's a, the drama. Uh, he does a lot of drama directing at... NCCS, and he's the art teacher up there as well. So uh, his he brings a lot of theater background, whereas I don't have the theater background, but I have the music background. So it's it's worked out quite well in what he's done with the blocking, and he's got some very good insight in that aspect that uh, I don't have. Yeah, now one name uh, I don't see here anymore, and for years this whole thing was synonymous with the. Uh, but Frank Langer. We miss Frank. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we miss time, Frank. Time moves on. I, yes. I, was it Jennifer Bond, Sam? You remember her name? Yes. Uh, yes. Jennifer Bond I and Frank. Jen yeah. Back when they started Annie, you know. Yes. Yes. I think Jennifer was only here that one year, then she, she yeah. and her family moved. But, yes. Uh, yeah. And then the the Reynolds. Terry and Sandy Reynolds, I think, were oh, yeah, were in at yeah, some at yeah, some yeah. point. Yeah. She was the music uh, director here too. And yeah. yeah. It's been. I think that's actually been a positive step um, because the Langers did it for so many years and I've only done it for two or three years and uh, having done it as that in that capacity you, you you get tired and you want a break and I think this having getting Dan involved someone else involved allows us to rotate and we're we're all hoping that Frank will come back <laughs> one of these years and, well, it's, and it's uh, a lot of work it is it's a lot of work and I think you really need to feel passionate about the show that you choose and the show that you you direct and uh, that helps well, tell with us the energy who is the Shazy Music Theater the Shazy Music Theater um, I, it, it really is the community because without Without the, the, the main support of this community, it would not exist. It welcomes whoever wants to be involved, but the core, yes, the core is from this community. Um, and, uh, and really the core people that work on it are from, are from Shazy. So, but obviously the, a lot more than just Shazy people involved. Absolutely, people yeah. All, all the surrounding yes. communities are, yep. Yep. are involved in this. Yeah, we've got people, uh, as far as, uh, well, Peru, I know that, but uh, our choreographer was doing uh, sh a show down in Willsboro, and, you know, so th some of the people are traveling quite, quite far to be involved, and we've developed a, a good reputation, and we work hard to keep that repu reputation you know, going. My mind just, I don't want to start naming any of them, but I uh, just, five or six of them. And the time to be all girls, I was thinking of them, and I started to think of some of the guys, the high school kids that came through here that just it, were amazed that these yes. kids were so, yes. so talented. Yep. Yep. Just, you know, and you know, some yeah. of them come back in later years and some don't. Right, and, you know. right. And what we found is that uh, they'll, they'll take a, t as many as 10 years off and then it's like they're back, you know, and it's, it's very, it's neat. That's a neat aspect of it. So. Well, it's it's got to be a rewarding uh, 
in that respect when you see the the kids involved yeah. and the adults yeah. you know the adults uh, you know, or adults, but you know, when the kids come out of that shell and come out here and, yep. and shine, yep. it's yeah, it is. It's very nice. It's very nice. But there seems to be fewer and fewer kids all the time. It, you, over the years, you bring in so many good adults. <laughs> well, I I think one of the the things that we've tried to do, and I think we've done well, is stay true to the shows. If the show calls for children, we like to put them in. But if it doesn't. It makes it makes the directing difficult. It makes the music difficult because it's not written for children. So yeah, obviously, if you got some 13-year-old exactly, playing on, opposite a 30-year-old, yeah, it it doesn't it doesn't well. And I remember Paul West saying uh, a few years back that uh, we've always done that piece very well. We've always casted well. So you know, in that sense, and we haven't done the past. I mean, last year's show did not require a lot of a lot of children. Um, where St. Louis required a lot more children and this one requires a few a few more and so it, de it really depends on on the show and what we're hoping I think the board is hoping to do is to provide uh, a bigger outlet for the the younger ones because that's what you need to do is you need to nurture them at that young age so that they would continue on with this later in life so. yeah, well, this is uh, any idea how many this is I believe this is number 16 and there was one year where it wasn't put on. And right. So, but so I think I think this is the 17th year, but the 16th show. Yeah. So, it was, so in that case, it would will have been 16 years ago. Normally, if it's a 16th show, you started 15 years right. ago because right. you know, right. your second year you're doing the second show, not right. you know, and it was only a year ago. So, right. so in this case, it would have been 16 years ago that this uh, this all began. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so much, you know. It's, and I imagine there are a few people out here. Who are watching this? Who like musicals and have never bothered to to come down to this? And uh, yeah. it's certainly worth the it. It absolutely is. But I and people are also good in their um, commitments. You know, they'll they realize that this is a big commitment uh, and time and energy. And uh, so, you know, if they if they come to it, they they're willing to to commit a huge piece of their lives. Okay. How late does rehearsal run? Ten o'clock. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I don't know if Dan's going to be available. If he's pretty much tied up out there. I actually, he's almost. Um, I would. They're just doing the chase scene, which means we're almost at the end of the show. So uh, we'll try and free him up okay. to talk with you guys. All right, Jill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I couldn't afford the official shirt, so. This will have to do. The Music Man, it's uh, Meredith Wilson's The Music Man. It's presented by Shazy Music Theater. And uh, we've just met the cast and the crew. The director, Dan Gallagher, is busy directing and unable to be here, but he, he did say that, uh, with talking to Jason and Jill, that uh, we probably learned all we need to know about the what goes on with the director. So every year we like to come to this. It's a tradition that I'm almost thinking that we may have started, if not with Annie, shortly thereafter. We started doing these uh, these types of uh, meet the cast presentations. We uh, hope you uh, enjoyed looking to, at some of this. And if you do come, you'll get to, to know what the people that are up there acting and dancing around are are like when they're not on stage. So that's our, one of our main reasons for doing this every year, to, to get a look at the people that uh, take part in this. And there's a lot of uh, work that has to be done besides the people that are on stage. There's a, there's a nice hat Sam might want to take a picture of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's disappeared. Kelly, uh, former Kelly Gagno modeling her hat. So it's all going to happen in Shazy at the at the school auditorium on Thursday the 25th of March 2004, 7.30. Friday the 26th, Saturday the 27th, those are all 7.30 shows. And the Sunday show is uh, at 2.30 in the afternoon. Here, there's Kelly right there. <laughs> on her way to the cafeteria. So thanks for watching. Our thanks to Sam Castine for uh, spending his evening here holding that camera as he's done so many times at uh, different Shazy functions. And uh, I plan on being here at least one night, maybe two. So. 
<laughs> okay, we're back on. If you've ever watched Hometown Cable before, you know that sometimes when we say we're done, we're not done. We're getting ready to leave, and this young lady said, you haven't talked to me yet. And we certainly didn't want to leave without talking to you. Now, your name, you told me, is Sophie Foreman. Yes. Yes, you're going to go yes. along with that? Mm hmm Now, as I recall, did you have half a part last year? Yes. <laughs> You were the Friday Sunday girl? Mm hmm Yeah. You and uh, uh, Spalding girls mm -hmm. shared a role, huh? Yes, we did. Yes. And was that your first time in a musical last year? Yes, that was my first time. And what was your role? My role was Mary Lennox in The Secret Garden. It was the little girl who has all these memories and dreams and so on? Yes. That was an important role, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Did you mind sharing a role? It was a no. lot of work. Yeah. You both did a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I remember you last year, I asked you if you're related to George Foreman. You said no, but you're, some people might know your father's name. He's a dentist in town, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, Richard Foreman, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So this is your second year, and you are listed as Amaryllis Dunlop? Yes. Is that a tough name to learn how to pronounce, Amaryllis? No. No? Say Amaryllis for me. Amaryllis. Okay. Do you know anybody named Amaryllis besides yourself? No. No? Do you think when you get old and have children, you might uh, name one of your daughters Amaryllis? Mm, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Okay, anything you want to tell us, uh, Sophie, while we got you here? Um, well, it's a really fun musical to do. The dancing is kind of hard, but last year I wasn't doing as many dances as this year. But I've gotten used to it, and I really like putting on this production. All right, you know who drew that picture on this? I found this out after we cut the camera off. Do you know who drew that picture on that? Dan picture? Gallagher. Dan Gallagher, the director, drew that picture right there. He is the art director. Uh, teacher, one of the art teachers at uh, Northeastern Clinton, and obviously he knows what he's doing, because that's a pretty darn good drawing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right. Now, do you go to school at Shay Z or at Northeastern? Yes. Shay Z? Here. What mm -hmm. grade are you in? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. And uh, you were in fifth grade last year, you told me, is that true? No. Oh. <laughs> I just thought I'd check. All right. Come see Sophie. She is, what, two, four, six... Eight down on the cast. That's pretty high up for a, a kid in the fifth grade. So you're out there every night this year, right? Yes. All right. Amaryllis Dunlop. If you see her on the street, you can call her Sophie. <laughs> this time, I think it's it. Goodbye. <laughs>